This would be the easiest way for sure. Whoa! What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fishing with Separate video. Today, we're at this gorgeous river spot. It is just so deep and massive out here. I don't see a chance that we do not catch a monster brown trout here. We got a lot of big boulders in here. It's nice and crystal clear. So I think we're gonna have some great luck here today. So I think that's gonna be enough rambling on. I can't wait another second to cast in this water. So let's see what kind of luck we can get here today. So this is what we're looking at here. We got a bunch of like bushes and stuff. So we got, I don't know if you guys can see through the water, but we have all these big boulders through here. And what we're gonna start out with is I got this rainbow trout color spoon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably cast over by this ginormous boulder first and see what kind of luck we can get over here. But we have all this deep stuff through here and I think it's gonna be absolute money. So let's we'll see what kind of action we can get here. So I gotta be careful that I don't snag in all these bushes. Probably just make my way up it a little bit. And we do have our, we do have our net with us just in case we catch a monster. And we have to net them. I do gotta like flatten some of this tree area out here because it's just overtaken with it. Oh, that's perfect. It's really hot out today as well. So they might be sitting deeper under some of these big boulders here. This time I kind of went over to the left a little bit more. We're gonna go over to the left a little bit. I can't even see over in this middle area here. It's super deep. So I'm just gonna jig it around in there. Surprised we haven't gotten bit or followed yet. But this spot looks great. Huh. I can pretty much sight fish in here too and I don't see anything yet. Like I said, it's really hot out today. And this water isn't really running that fast through here. It's running good down there. So we could try that out, but I wanted to try up here first, just because it's such a big area. They may be sitting right up in there too, but I can't really get over there because that's someone's private property. Kind of stinks because they have that perfect beach over there and I bet you there's some nice trout sitting right where that water comes out. We'll let that sink for a second. We'll give it a couple more casts here and then I might try over here below this fast water and see if we can get anything down there. I really do think they'd be either sitting up there because I can just tell by the looks of it that's fast water going right into a deep pool. They'd be sitting in that 100%. So I don't think they'd be sitting out in this kind of slower water. Plus it's kind of in the sunlight. So I don't think this is where they'd be. Yeah, they would definitely be up in that fast water or down here in this fast water. So. That's what we're gonna have to try, I think. That's what we're gonna do. So we'll go try over in that fast water to our right, because we can't go to the left and try that out. <clears throat> we might just have to walk through here because I, I don't think there's a way to get down here easier than where we came in from. So we'll just walk down here. Yeah, this would be the easiest way for sure. Whoa! Hey, easy. 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 <laughs> yeah, so there you hear, I think is what we're gonna try, guys. It looks nice and deep through here. So, what's that? Hey, easy. 
Easy. You go up. Go up. <laughs> hey, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so like I said, we're gonna cast right down in here. It looks like there's a little bit of a calm spot over on the right hand side here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cast right in. We'll let the water take the spoon a little bit. What's that? I will in a little bit try to get back out, but yeah. Huh? You really bank. On the bank? Yeah. Oh, the bank. The bank is. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I don't want to yeah, I got you. I, yeah. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll head on out. Yeah, no problem. Well, that was an interesting encounter. We just got kicked off of a riverbank. He said that he owns the riverbank, which I don't think that's true. I don't think you can own a riverbank, but that's fine because we also have down here, there's nice deep rocks through here. It's nice and deep, runs pretty good through here. Whew. That was uh, definitely interesting. The dude's dog almost attacked me too. I mean, like, that's one thing too. So if you have a dog approach you like that, stand your ground. Don't run away, don't turn around. Stay up front with it. Cause they, uh, usually dogs like that they're not gonna attack you. If you're front facing them like that and you're kind of challenging them a little bit, they won't attack you. So it's always important to stand your ground like that. Even he said, uh, I don't want you to get bit. Well, then have your dog leashed up or something. Don't, don't let your dog just run around. Whoa, not sure if we got bit or if we were hooked on a rock. I'm gonna cast right down, right where that sun hits. That was something. That's definitely gonna go up on YouTube. I'm gonna have to, I, I didn't know if you could own riverbanks or not, so I didn't challenge him on that. But I am gonna figure out if you can own riverbanks. Cause last I knew, you can own a certain amount of property next to the river. Like, and you can't, you obviously can't own water. So I don't know. We're gonna have to look up and see if it's possible to own river especially right next to the road, because it's just like this over there, where you have guardrail, then it goes right down the bank. I don't know about that one. Seems like a, uh, seems like an excuse to get me out of there so his dog could be outside. It's craziness. I'm gonna do like two more casts here, and then I'm gonna head out to a different spot because I just don't think that uh, it's gonna be any good here. I do have another spot in mind that uh, we could try. It's gonna be in a different body of water, but we might have more luck than we're having here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any luck here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head to a different spot that I know of and we're gonna try it out. It's actually on a different river and uh, for the past like two, three months, this has been murky, so. I've been driving around yesterday and saw that it finally was starting to clear up. So maybe we could give that a try. And when I get in the truck, I'm going to look up if he can own a riverbank. Alrighty guys, we made it to the new spot. Check out this amazing ledge spot we got here. I'm hoping we can get some luck here today. The water is a little bit murky, but not too bad. So I think we might be able to get some luck here. I don't think anyone's fished here for quite a while, so there should be some biting fish. 
especially since you know this river has been murky for so long there should be some hungry trout up in here so let's hope we don't uh, almost get attacked by a dog at this spot and uh, see what kind of luck we can get here Alrighty, so we brought both rods with us here at this spot. We got the rooster tail and we got our uh, spoon here. We're gonna try the rooster tail first because we've had a lot of luck with wild rainbows here in this river here for a little while. So we're gonna try this out first. If we don't get any luck, then we're gonna switch over to the spoon. But let's get casted out and let's hope we can catch a big one here. We're gonna try letting it sink here for a little bit. Let it really get down deep. So this ledge kind of comes right up in front here too and has some nice drop off. We got some little minnows over here in this little pool. Man, is it hot today? It's about 82 degrees out, sunny. Not a cloud in the sky except for that little tiny one there, but what a beautiful day out really hot makes the fishing a little bit more tough especially because we're fishing at like noon so that's about my fault but i would like to come over here we're gonna try fishing this side of the ledge see if anything bites here i might go ahead and switch over to the spoon here in a second because i think this is just too light the water is really deep here so I think a spoon would do us pretty good. I just don't think we're gonna get any luck here today. Might try the spot by my place or there's a spot on the way back from here that's pretty good. Okay, we're at the other spot right by my house. And we're gonna give this a try here. <sighs> Just a little while ago, I don't know if any of you watched it, but we had a monster trout break us off here. And I think it was because we were using the four pound test line and we were dealing with some twist ups too. So that could be a problem too, but we're gonna use the eight pound test today. We're gonna use a spoon, which is what that one bit on before. And we're gonna see if we can catch this trout. If he's even still here, that is. But I know that there's also some more big trout up in here. This knotweed. Every time I come here, it just grows more and more and more. And it just makes it so frustrating to get down to my favorite fishing spot over here. And this looks even more clear than last time. I think we're gonna have some good luck here. We'll catch something for sure. I'm just feeling it. The one downside is that it's really hard to get trout up here, especially if they're big. Now when that one bit, kind of bit over yonder there, the water's a lot more clear than last time, so it could be a little bit more tricky. We don't want the fish to see us. And obviously we are gonna try down further again like we usually do, because I never know if any of these trout have moved down yet or not. And if we don't get any luck here, we'll tie on a different spoon. Yeah, I think we're gonna move down. I, I mean, I can sight fish pretty much all through here and I'm not seeing anything. I think we're gonna call it after this cast. We'll go over to the other spot where I think we're gonna be able to get a lot of luck. I just wanted to see if that big trout was still up here, but he might've moved downstream. I doubt he's gonna sit in one spot for his whole life. So we'll go try that out. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alrighty. So we've had great luck here with some nice sized rainbows, wild rainbows that is, and some nice brown trout too. So let's hope that we can catch a nice trout here today. It looks pretty good. I wish we had our waders on because we would wade way down where it gets nice and deep down there as well. 
Whoa, 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 nice trout, nice trout, nice trout. He swirled us. That looked like a nice wild rainbow. I don't know if he saw us or not. I'm gonna do the same thing though, I'm gonna cast up above. Whoa, what in the world happened? Oh, fish on boys. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish, nice fish. He is all over the place. Looks like a nice wild rainbow. Oh, that's a gorgeous wild rainbow. Let's loosen the drag a little bit. We're gonna walk him over to this bank. Let's get our net ready. We can tighten up the drag a little bit. He is full of energy. What a beautiful fish. This is probably one of the most beautiful fish I've ever caught. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This trout is gorgeous. All right, let's get our rod down real quick. Oh my God. Let's get this hook right out of him. There we go. I want to get him back in the water so we can take some better looks at him. There we go. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. But just look at how beautiful that rainbow is. What a nice trout. Just a gorgeous wild rainbow trout. We'll go ahead and we're gonna let him free. There he goes. That is a nice wild rainbow trout. Holy smokes. Nice. Can't ask for a better trout to catch, honestly. That's probably the biggest wild rainbow that I've caught out of this section of this river. And I think there's more in here too. You know, I can't complain with today, honestly. I mean, we almost got attacked by a dog, but catching a beautiful trout like that whew, doesn't get much better. That was just incredible. That might have been the same wild rainbow that was swirling us before. I don't know how many trout are in this one hole right here, but I mean, he was a chunky trout. I don't think there's many. Cause he's definitely not sharing the food source. I can tell you that. I honestly wish we could keep trout out in this river because that would have been a perfect eating trout. That was amazing. I think that might've been the only trout in this hole. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come to this little island and we're gonna try to wade down as far as we can with just our boots and see if maybe there's something we can catch down here. Just gotta be careful we don't sink down in any sink sand here. There we go. Nice. It looks nice and shallow. And I don't know if you guys can see it with the camera from here, but you can see some dark blue where it gets nice and deep. And through here, it looks pretty shallow for the most part. But we just gotta make sure we really don't go over our boots here. Cause even though this water's clear, it can be deceiving. And I think we have a, oh, we do. We got a hole in our boot. Well, since our socks are already wet, we might as well just keep going. That's crazy. I can't believe we got a hole in our boot. I would like to cross over here because it looks like it gets nice and shallow over there, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, it does. It gets nice and shallow. All right, so there's a nice deep hole right over here in front of us. I'm just gonna get over to where it's nice and shallow and we're gonna wade right on down to it. I'm not gonna get too close because I don't wanna spook any trout, but it gets nice and deep. Can't believe there's a hole in my boot. It looks like I'm gonna have to get some new boots. I mean, these were just cheapy boots that I got from like Walmart, so I might try casting them from right here. We're gonna start heading back up. I might take a couple more casts where we caught that wild rainbow at. But I'm not gonna do too much more fishing because I got water in my boot. All right, what I'm gonna do, 
I'm gonna cast from down here and cast up and bring it back down towards us. I don't know, but for some reason, that just drives, it just drives fish nuts for some reason. Only problem is I can't really cast that high up there. Alright, I'm gonna try casting up into that little branch a little bit. See if we can pull anything from up there and get it downstream a little bit. You guys can probably hear the water in my boots. Ooh, the wind took that one. And it's probably gonna get tangled up because the wind is still blowing. Gonna take a look over here real quick. Yeah, it's not that deep through here. All right, change of plans. I'm gonna come down here real quick and we're gonna cross over to that little island. Water's gonna get over our boots for sure. But I'm really curious what's on this back side of this river bend. Since our boots are already soaking wet, figured we might as well try this out. I've always been curious what's back here. I might try casting by this tree too. No follows on that cast. We're just gonna keep moving up here. Cause I'm not sure if there's any deep spots. We might have crossed for uh, for nothing, but one thing I know for certain is it looks really good under that tree. If I can get a cast to kind of land perfectly up in there without getting snagged. Nothing on that. So we got some more down trees up here, but I don't think I can necessarily get to it that easily. Not without walking through the water again. We're just gonna head back down here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any luck. I thought that maybe like, since this is kind of bending around that there'd be a deep hole there, but there's not, so I think we're gonna call out there. All right guys, that's gonna conclude another episode of Fishing with Sepper. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. Today was a crazy video. I mean, the fact that uh, we almost got attacked by a dog. We came back to another spot. We caught a beautiful wild rainbow trout. Doesn't get much better than that. So again, I wanna thank you guys all for stopping by and checking out this video. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in some separate merch, check the link down in the description below. Alright, we'll catch you guys next week.